What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the All Star Show. Today we're looking at the Mattel Masters of the Universe Masterverse Wave 4 figures. So this time we have He-Man and Skeletor from New Eternia. So New Eternia is just a line of like concept art characters from the original Masters of the Universe designs that they're bringing into like modern day figures. So we have a Viking version of He-Man and Barbarian version of Skeletor. So both of these look really cool and they also come with additional accessory stuff to make them look more original and everything but it, I think they look cool in those outfits they have there. And then our other two figures are of Tila and Merman from Revelation. So again, we've already had Tila before, but this is like her classic look for Tila, and Merman looks pretty awesome as well, and as he appeared in the show, but both of those look really cool as well. So all four of these figures look awesome, and I'm excited to check them out. So let me go ahead and get them open, and we'll take a look at them together. Well, let's start off with He-Man again, has the nickname of Viking He-Man, and again, it's from New Eternia, so as I mentioned before, it's based off original concept art for the Masters of the Universe, so again, this isn't based off anything particular, it's just off ideas for Masters of the Universe, and overall, I think he looks pretty cool, the only thing I don't really like about this is the face, I just feel it looks a little bit awkward, but everything else about it looks cool, so it does look like, you know, your classic He-Man, just pretty much has a helmet on this time, so it has the helmet with the horns, and I like the red and blue dots on there, then his face, which again, I don't like too much, I just think it looks a little bit more realistic than cartoony but it obviously doesn't look like anybody that played he-man or anything i just feel the face looks more realistic but then he's got this nice big gold armor up on his shoulders of course like sort of his classic he-man like chest bleed with just some of the like, classic like colors and designs and everything going around there to the back with the holder which looks pretty cool and all the brown straps he's got some armor there on his forearms which looks nice of course the bell and loincloth there around his waist he's got the gold bell with like the brown loincloth hanging down and then he's got the fur boots so it's got the all wrapped up boots so with like the leather designs with the fur at the top and what's really cool is he also has a sheath that sticks on the side there so overall he just looks really cool you know it still looks like he-man just a little bit different which i think is pretty cool but we can do his movement so his head can twist there all the way around you have some issues because of his hair but it does twist there you can look down that far and up that far so not too bad movements shoulders can come up to 90 and rotate around within there we get the bicep twist the double elbow joint which the lower joint's a little bit stiff but you can get it to bend at least up that far which isn't bad then the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. Then we have the ab movement, so you can crunch there, so crunch forward and crunch back, so not much crunching, but can crunch there. And with this joint, you feel it would also be able to twist. He can just very little twist side to side, but it does have the rock in there. So you don't really get that twisting, but he does twist around at the waist, so it gives you that joint there. Then we get the hips that can come up at least that far, not 290, but not far off either, especially if you kind of force it more, and then out to the side there, we get the thigh twist that twists around, double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back, which is pretty good. And then we get a shin twist at the top of the boot, and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side. So not a bad figure and pretty typical for the Masterverse. The only issue I have with a lot of these figures is that they have like issues with their legs and like feet joints especially that they tend to fall over a lot. So I've had some issues with him not as bad as some of the others but that's just one thing that's annoying me with these. But He-Man also comes with a lot of accessories so we get some additional hands so he has a fist and a grip hand. Well we get a, another grip hand for the right and then an open like palm hand for the left which he usually has for a shield but we don't get a shield with this one unfortunately. But you have those two hands. We also get an additional head so there's a head without the helmet that will go ahead and switch out here is to give it more of that classic He-Man look. So there he is without the helmet and I do like the look just in general of course has that crappy like He-Man haircut but once again the face looks too realistic for this character design so I don't like that too much so probably for this I'd overall like the helmet design but just noticing you can you know switch the head out get rid of the helmet so you have the classic look and it looks by the way it's designed you can probably undo the chest harness here and take these gold pieces off and then pretty much give you like a classic looking He-Man because you know the rest is all just pretty classic looking so if you don't want to have the extra like vikingness or whatever that they call to it you could take that off as well and just have a different version of a classic he-man so that's pretty cool as well and then he comes with some weapons so first off we have a dagger here so this little nice dagger design with a gold handle and the silver blade so overall looks pretty nice but this is what we can stick down into the holster on his leg so we can just take it and it should just yeah, slide right down in there a little bit difficult but i like how it even has the cutout and the fur so it easily holds the handle and so that just overall looks quite like that being down in his boot and then we get classic weapons for he-man of course so first off we have the power sword or the sword of power whatever you want to call it so overall has sort of that classic look but obviously a different rendition of it but looks very classic and everything and a nice sword design so obviously we can put this into his hand but let's actually go and just stick this in the sheath on his back so we have the little slot there so we can stick it down in there so that's sticking off the back which is cool and finally we also get his broad axe so the big double bladed axe which looks really cool there in the all silver and let's actually put this into his hand especially since he's a viking i feel he'd probably use an axe more than a sword so let's switch that i'll probably need to put the hand for the right so there is he-man with the axe and that looks really cool and i just 
just have him dual hand the axe because I thought it looked much cooler. So very awesome just overall for this new Attorney of He-Man. But overall, I think that just looks cool. And of course, we have the classic He-Man to bring in here, of course, from Revelations. So you can see that similarity design between the two. Just overall, you know, has a very similar look, just modified, obviously, for the new Attorney look. But I think overall, it looks pretty cool. So I do actually like this new one a lot. And next up, we have the new Eternia Skeletor, which is nicknamed the Barbarian Skeletor. And again, he looks pretty cool. I just don't like him nearly as much as I do like the classic looking Skeletor. And compared to the new Eternia He-Man, I just don't overall like his look. Obviously, he does have that classic look of Skeletor. And especially when we bring that other Skeletor in, they have a lot of similarities. I just don't like the helmet design where he has sort of like this beard design, but his face and all painted yellow as the classic Skeletor is. And the red eyes and everything, you know, looks very classic, but I just hate like the beard design there on his chin and the overall overall helmet design so he has the full helmet covering that just shows off the middle of the face but it has the nice like little horn up on top a jewel there on the top and then just the overall design it's nice design I just don't like it on Skeletor and then he has the chest covering very similar to the classic look has the crossbone design on his chest and the little like leather flaps there hanging all around a little holder there in the back and the bat design so you can see the wing designs coming around to the front there and this one has like a palish sort of like teal color body design where Skeletors often have different colors you know of like blues and everything so this one has more of a teal color which I do like that color just doesn't stand out as much has the belt on with a little bat head and then the leather loincloth sort of design with some fur sticking out the side there and then the bare legs going down to the bare feet where he's got the long toe claws and then has the armor on his legs with that sort of like bat design there as well so overall has like that classic Skeletor look especially like for the old original 80s look just the head design on here I don't like as much but for his movements we get that they can twist all the way around he can look down that far and up that far so not bad movement just some limitation because of the beard on his chin so don't get that there but the shoulders come up to 90 rotate all the way around we get a bicep twist the double elbow joint that can bend up that far and the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth we have that crunch so crunch forward crunch back mostly back on this one so a little bit crunching there and again can tilt side to side twist all the way around at the waist hips can come up again still not very good about 45 there but you can kind of force it a little bit higher and then out to the side that far thigh twist around double knee joint that bends up that far to the back so pretty similar to he-man's shin twist at the top of the boot and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side and as the masters tend to do as pretty much the exact same body as he-man but of course with skeletor we get a lot of accessories so first off we get some additional hands so we have a fist hand and an open palm hand to go along with like a pointing finger hand and a grip hand that he has there and as i mentioned i don't like the helmet design so we get an additional head with that classic skeletor looking head so let's try switching out and see what it looks like so there's the head switched out and i actually really like that a lot because with that head it now just looks like that classic skeletor in a modern day figure so i really like that a lot so this would probably be a way it looks a little too small actually now that I'm looking at it. but overall just the look and everything looks like that classic Skeletor so you could just probably do that and now have a classic version of Skeletor like I said you could with that He-Man as well thankfully he doesn't have much of anything extra besides the helmet piece but switching out the head just obviously fixes that so overall I do really like that design but let's go ahead and just switch it back but with Skeletor we also get this nice cape piece so we have this cape so it's got more of that sort of bat design with the straps going around and a nice cape design I don't know exactly how this goes on if it really even sticks in but let me try and get it on him so there I got the cape piece on and it does not look very good or function very well at all like just looking at like straight on here I don't think it looks too bad I like having the cape design and the big like chest piece on there I think that looks pretty cool but just the way it functioned is not very good so it's designed just to sit on the chest which if I take it off here and look at it so underneath in the front here we have the design of like the crossbones and stuff so if you line that up there and try to like put it on there like it shows like line it up you know get it to sit like perfectly on that there it then hangs off really far off the back and doesn't sit on too well but then it also has these little like clip pieces here on the side on each one that actually are supposed to like clip around the leather straps on his shoulders but they don't really clip too well they just kind of sit in between them so it doesn't really hold it on too well but like I said I can get it to sit on there and as long as you don't move it too much it'll sit like it is right there which like I said just from the front view it looks pretty decent but when you start to turn and see how far it's sticking off it does not sit too well so unfortunately that does not work out too I wish they would have done something better and come up with a better design for this because I think it looks cool like I said with just having it on the front I think having it more like there would be better but again it's hard to get it to even sit anywhere you want it but I think without it and it, like I said switching out the head would be much better just overall but then we get some accessories for him so first off we do get a sword so we have just like scimitar type sword with a gold handle and silver blade overall looks pretty cool and neat and everything and I like all the chips and dents and stuff in it so overall that looks pretty cool in this we can just stick into his holder on his back as well so just slide that in there and of course being Skeletor of course we have to have the Havoc staff so the nice staff with the 
ram head there and the all purple and everything it looks really cool so let's go and stick this into his left hand here so there he is with the havoc stack but it is way too heavy for his hand and it just keeps like making his arm fall down and pulling him down so unfortunately i'm trying to like get him in a position where he can hold it but it's just too big and bulky like the ram head is just humongous on this thing so i don't know exactly what i need to do to be able to get him to hold this but i'll probably have to just play around with it but just so you can see the difference here is that revelations version of skeletor so you can see that there so again i think this new one has much more of the classical look to it but you can see the designs they use between the two and stuff and similar designs although this one looks more like classic skeletor to me with like the blue color and everything but i like that extra head that comes with this barbarian one because it gives it that classic look of skeletor so i do like that overall i just need to figure out this whole havoc staff thing so besides the Havoc Staff and just switching out to that other head, I think this would be a really cool Skeletor. So we'll have to try that and probably use that for like on our shelf and stuff. But overall, I think it's pretty cool, like I say, especially with that other head. And next up, we have Tila from Masters of the Universe Revelation. And overall, she looks pretty cool. And this is her classic look. So again, how she appeared at like the beginning of the show before it did the time jump and she changed her look to the figure we've already had. And overall, I think she looks cool. Like I said, it has that classic look to it. So I feel like if we took those other two figures, the He-Man and Skeletor switched out their looks to look more classic, this would be a good figure to go along with it because it looks more modern day, but also classic at the same time. But she looks good overall. So she has the all white and gold outfit. She has the nice like TR are designed with the hair all wrapped up but she has gold band on her bicep and then the gauntlet pieces there and the gold and white and then pretty bare leg going down to the boots where she has the all the other boots with the white fur at the top that looks pretty good so overall she's a nice looking figure like i said very much a classic look for her but for her movements we get that that can twist all the way around look down very little and up very little so just not much movements there in the head then we get the shoulders that come up to 90 and can rotate all the way around we get a bicep twist the double elbow joint that bends up that far so not bad wrist twist around and flex back and forth then we have the crunch and probably twist under the chest here so crunch forward crunch back so crunching of course the tilt side to side and she can twist a little in there i thought she'd be able to twist since she doesn't really have the waist twist but oh she must have it just hidden underneath her outfit so she can twist around at the waist as well hips can come up to 90 there out to the side that oh she can do the splits then we get the thigh twist that can twist all the way around double knee joint bends up that far to the back so really good shin twist at the top of the boot and the foot flexes back and forth and twist side to side so a good figure once again just a female so it has the skinnier joints and she comes with a number of accessories as well so she has a grip hand and a, like a flat palm hand we get a grip hand for the left and a fist hand for the right she comes with an additional head so we have this head where her hair is more down and with the out the tiara so let's go and switch this out so there she is with that head and i think that looks really cool as well i like the tiara i think a little more just because it gives that classic teal look to me but without that as well like i said this would be definitely a good version to put on the shelf with that skeletor and he-man with the classic design as well because i think that would look very good so nice head there for her but let's go and switch it back and then we get some weapon accessories so first off we have a shield so nice all gold shield it looks very much like a classic motu design so very awesome here so we can go and slide this on her arm with her hand there and unfortunately it feels too loose for that yeah it just keeps like falling right off so you'd always have to have her hand up or we may have to just go and just slide it all the way through her hand there even get her thumb under there because that'll help put some more pressure on it and keep it on a little bit more so we have to do that and finally she comes with a sword as well so a nice sword design with a brown handle with gold on it and then the all silver design which i don't know if you can see it's real like sparkling stuff which is cool so let's go and put this into our other hand so there's tila with weapons and i think overall that looks pretty cool i really like this design again i'm having issues getting them to stand because this left foot joint is like really weak so she keeps falling forward so have to try and get her in that right position to keep her standing but then we can bring in their other revelations version of tila so again this is at the years later sort of time jump and then she cuts her hair and this is what she looks like then so there is the two different versions of tila there both from masters of the universe revelation but I do like this new one a lot just once again because it has that classic look to it. And our final figure, the wave, is Merman, again for Masters of the Universe Revelations. Now, we've not had a Merman before, so this is the first time looking at him. But he lives in the Crystal Sea and rules over the Aquaticans. And as we see him here, this is after the years later time jump. So he's much older and, as you can see, much more scarred up and tore up and everything. So it's got that sort of classic Merman design. So he has the head, you know, we've seen with, like, Stinkor and everything. That was, like, modified, but he has the, like, little orange-like mask around his eyes. And you can see his one eye there. And his other eye is all scarred up and damaged, so it has the design there. But then he's got, like those sort of like wing sort of head design again I don't know how you describe it but he's just got the design there on his face and this like dark teal color you can see his mouth there with some teeth and everything going down his body he doesn't have his classic like yellow armor piece on so he just has his bare skin showing but you can see it's all that like tealish color as well with all scarred up so and scratches all over his body so he's been in some fights he's got some gauntlet pieces with some orange and like yellow or gold design as well as a belt and like a green color with a nice little logo that would be for like merman again with the side fan designs some orange leather hanging down for the loincloth 
and down. I was like, he's got some orange and gold designs with some nice blue there, which is pretty cool. So overall, it's pretty cool to have this. I just would probably like more of the classic looking version of Merman much more. So I hope they eventually make that. But for his movements, his head can twist around. It feels like it's hard to get the sort of twist around in the weird design. And his head kind of pops off pretty easily. So you got to be careful with that. But it can look down that far and up that far. So not too bad there though. Shoulders can come up to 90 and rotate all the way around. We get a bicep twist, the double elbow joint that can bend up that far at least. And wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. We have that crunch there. So crunch forward, crunch back. So pretty decent crunching there and side to side. Twist all the way around at the waist. Hips can come up just about that far. So under 90 once again, but not far off. It's not too bad there. Out to the side that far. Thigh twist all the way around. Double knee joint that bends up that far to the back. Shin twist in the boot section there. And then foot flexes back and forth and twist a little side to side. So once again, it has like all the same movements as the other males. So not a bad figure at all. And he comes with the additional accessories. So first off, we get some hands. So he has two grip hands. So we get a set of fist hands as well as a set of open palm hands. And I like seeing the webbed fingers there. So that is pretty cool. And then he comes with some weapons. So first off, we have a sword. So this nice, awesome sword design. I like the color of the sword where it's like this dirty gray or whatever you want to call it. It's got like a green tint to it. And then like the black and like bronze color handle or whatever. So pretty nice design with all jaggedness and stuff. So let's put this in his hand. So there's the sword in his hand. And he also comes with a spear. So I thought it'd be similar to a trident, but it only has two prongs. But again, in that nice greenish gray color. And then the dark like teal handle with like the orangish bronze color there wrapped around the top of it. So that's pretty cool. So let's put this in his other hand. So there's Merman with the sword and the spear and that overall looks pretty cool there. So he's ready for battle and you can tell he's been in battle a lot just with this older version form of him. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. But like I said, I'd much rather prefer the classic look for him. So I can't wait till we get that figure because surely with having this mold and everything, they'll be doing that next. But overall, I think this is a pretty good figure. Well, there's our way for uh, the Masters and the Universe Masterverse figures. I think overall pretty cool. It's cool to get the new Eternia versions of He-Man and Skeletor. And like I said, with the modified there, you can just use them as like classic versions because they have those looks in them. And I think it's pretty cool. The only issue is Skeletor. I wish it had some better like Havoc sack thing, having so many issues with that. And then getting the Revelations version of Tila in her classic look. And then the more modern day version of Merman there is pretty cool. But as I said, I want him in that classic look as well. So not a bad wave overall. I'm actually pretty happy with these figures. Like I said, have issues with them standing like every single one of them has issues with their left foot being weak and falling forward as I showed with Tila so that really stinks because it's hard to get them to stand even like this but overall I really like these figures a lot so I can recommend them but let me know what you thought of them down in the comments and if you enjoyed this review let me know with the thumbs up well and thank you all for watching I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review